my beautiful Aries to your February 2021 love reading. The reading will be in two parts for my Aries singles and then for my Aries couples. Please keep in mind that this will not, I repeat, this will not resonate with every single Aries as there's many of you out there in the world and it's just impossible for one reading to relate to every single one of you. Please take into consideration your sun, moon, Venus, and rising sign. Because if this reading does not resonate with your sun sign, maybe the other placements and the other readings will. So make sure you check those out. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Make sure to hit that like button. It supports my channel. It helps it grow. You can also support my work. Let me get a donation to one of the links below. I will be using the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue to set the theme for the reading. So let's go ahead and start with my Aries Singles. Spirit, Angels, and Guides. What is the theme for my Aries singles for February 2021? What is the theme for my Aries singles for February 2021? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Hmm. So you're looking pretty good to people right now, Aries. You're looking pretty good. And you're looking good to people just by being yourself. Spirit, angels, and guides, what do my Aries singles need to know regarding love February 2021? What do my Aries singles need to know regarding love February 2021? All right, we have the Three of Wands crowning your reading. We have the Devil in the past. Wheel of Fortune in the present. Ace of Cups in the outcome. All right, so zodiac signs I see. I see Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, um, Cancer, Pisces, possibly. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, possibly. But definitely, definitely Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, um, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Definitely, that can be in their sun, moon, Venus, or rising. Aries, I see you right now. Just being happy with who you are. You're someone who has basically taken a lot of action within the past, either the past month or maybe the past year. You're some you're definitely taking this new year, new me very, very seriously. I'm gonna find out what you're doing. Because to me, it just looks like you're enjoying just being yourself. You're very confident in who you are, which is attractive. Yeah, Aries, you definitely have balance in your life. You probably are making a good amount of money. You're probably very stable. If you don't have a lot of money, you're definitely stable in your life in some shape or form. I see you being really comfortable with who you are. Now, in the past position, I do see you in possibly a very um, lust-based relationship in the past. It could, or this could be a Capricorn. So I'm going to get some more clarification on what this devil card is. Because we need to know, understand the past to understand our present and our future. All right, so you might have been involved with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising in the past. This is somebody who you are very sexually attracted to. I think this relationship was really based on physical attractiveness and how much you guys, you know, basically lusted after each other. However, this is in the past. So I know you're not in this relationship at this particular moment. So we're going to find out what's going on here. I'm going to get one more card to clarify the past. Temperance, maybe Sagittarius you were dealing with, possibly. But I will say this. There was such a deep physical attractiveness there, but there wasn't a lot of affection, not a lot of emotion. I believe this was strictly a friends with benefits situation. Now, one of you cut it off with the other person. One of you decided, hey, you know, you had like a realization moment. Like you kind of 
got tired or you lost your patience with the situation, either you or this person said, you know what? Yeah, the intimacy is good. I like, you know, playing around with you under the sheets, but I want something more. I want a relationship. I want affection. I want commitment. This is no longer enough. I don't know who cut it off. Aries, if it was you or the other person, but one of you definitely cut it off for sure. One of you decided to take charge and say, you know what? This ain't for me. Bye-bye. Now I bring that up because I see here in the wheel of fortune is in your present position, which means somebody from the past is coming back towards you. The wheels are turning and they're coming from the past. The question is, is this a good time to be with this person? Is this someone that you want? Is it the same person you were dealing with in the past? Well, let's find out. High Priestess. Interesting. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It was definitely someone from, it's this same person, just so you're not right now. This is somebody who you either caught feelings for or they caught feelings for you. But I have a feeling, Aries, that you didn't tell this person how you felt or they didn't tell you how they felt and they were heartbroken. So in order to spare their heart, they left the situation or you left the situation. I'm telling you right now, they did not know that you were starting to fall for them or vice versa. And that's why they cut it off because they did not want to get involved anymore. And for a very few small percentage of you, maybe you cut it off or they cut it off because they knew you were having feelings and they didn't want to hurt you anymore. But that's just for a small percentage. But they are definitely coming back. They are coming back. The same exact person. But is this, but do they want the same thing as before? Let's find out. I'm telling you right now, Aries, you're looking very good. You're looking uh, very secure in yourself. We have the Ace of Wands here. They definitely want, they definitely want to get back jumping. They definitely want to jump your bones again. I'm going to tell you that right now. You all they've been thinking about, all they've been fantasizing about. But that was the thing before. That was the issue before. Somebody wanted more than just lust. The question is, is that going to be enough for now? They think you are so hot. You are definitely attractive. You're not only attractive to them. You got your, you got your stuff together. You got your stuff together. That's why you're looking so good to them. They see you. They see you in your power, Aries. Or vice versa if you're a cross watcher watching this video. Yeah, there we go. Bam, answered my question. Don't get me wrong. They do want to jump your bones, but they're ready to go on beyond that. They're ready to give you the ultimate as far as being a couple. They're ready to make a commitment with you. They want to have a future with you. They want to complete this cycle with you. But, you know, if you can play in the bedroom in the meantime, they'll be down for that too. Just saying. And the reason this is, I know this is genuine. I have the Ace of Cups here and the outcome. This is a brand new beginning, a new love, a new love relationship, a new commitment with this person, Aries. This person realized, I don't, I, I, I can't believe I've been this long without Aries or vice versa. You've been so long with this person. You guys came, one of you came into a realization, okay, it was more than just, it, it was more than just sex. It was definitely feelings and emotions and they came back or you came back and said, yeah, let's do this. I think we could be good for each other. And bam, brand new relationship, brand new love, brand new commitment. This is the best card to get for a love reading. I'm telling you.
Love it, love it, love it. If you enjoyed this reading, my airy singles, please hit that like button, share and subscribe, help share me with the world so my channel can grow. I appreciate you. I appreciate all your love. I appreciate your donations, your likes, and your shares. We're going to be moving on to the Aries couples now. Namaste. Hello, my Aries couples. We are moving to your love reading for February 2021. Remember, this will not, I repeat, will not resonate with every single Aries couple as there's many of you out there in the world. Please check out your sun, moon, Venus, and rising and see if those readings resonate if this one doesn't by chance. Now, I'll be using the Angels, Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue to set the theme for the reading. Please remember, I tell you what you need to know, not necessarily what you want to know. If you want to support my work, please like, share, and subscribe. That's the best support you can possibly give me. If you want to support me in another way, I have donation links in the video details. Now let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, angels, and guides, what is the theme for my Aries couples for February 2021? What is the theme for my Aries couples? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Interesting. That's a very, I, I don't really get that card very often. But I'm interested to see what this is about. Spirit, angels, and guides. What do my Aries couples need to know regarding love? Spirit, angels, and guides, what do my Aries couples need to know regarding love? Temperance is crying your reading, so we need some patience and understanding, that's for sure. Mm, too many cards, too many cards. Sorry if I'm talking a low monotone, I'm trying to rest my voice, because it was starting to get squeaky after doing so many videos back to back, so. I'm lowering my voice just for that purpose. Now the Six of Pentacles in the past. Ooh, these cards are wanting to slip. I'm not really feeling all this intense energy, Aries. Yeah, this is intense energy. My cards want to pounce and jump out. Ten of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Interesting. So, the universe is definitely calling for patience and understanding. Definitely saying to hold that Aries temper of yours, possibly. You could be in a relationship with a earth sign. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see Taurus the strongest with the Hierophant. I also see Sagittarius with the Temperance card. That could be their sun, moon, Venus, or rising. But yeah, there's something that the universe is telling you. Please don't blow up, Aries. Please keep your patience. Keep your patience. Keep your temper at bay. You could be with a Taurus Again, strong Taurus. Taurus is the strongest, so I'm just letting you know that right now. I also have Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo. Something tells me that your parents gave you money and there was a string attached to it. It's for you and your partner. I don't know if you or your partner are married. I want to say that you guys are because I see the Hierophant card. Or you guys could just be living together, cohabitating. But yeah, there's definitely some finances involved here. Yeah, they either loaned you some money, but there was a nice little string attached. A string attached that you weren't aware of, this literally means expect the unexpected. I see them giving you and your partner money here for sure. This is in the past. It's like, you're, it's like you had to beg them for money. It's like you had to beg them. There's those signs again. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. The world card. There was some type of cycle of completion with your parents. Yep. 
Yowzer. They did not like something about your relationship. I'm telling you right now, Aries. They did not like something about your relationship. I don't know why. I think that's what involved the string attached. All right. Because in the present situation, I do see a family in this picture. There's a couple, a child in the corner. Hi, a priest want to marry, but the, there's money falling from the sky. There's rain, money raining down. I don't know if this is you or if this is them. Money again. Someone's working hard here. Wow. Yeah, this is all about money here. Aries, I have a strong feeling that the money that you took from your parents, or maybe it's vice versa, maybe you gave your parents some money, maybe your spouse, or maybe it's your spouse or your partner's parents, whatever the money is involved. They want you to pay them back, and you don't want to, well, you do want to pay them back, but there's a price that you don't want to pay. I don't know if it's interest. I don't know what it is. It's crazy, but it's money, 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 money. And I see, yeah, I see two tens here, completion. Mm. Something tells me that your parents are very traditional. They're very traditional here. There's two situations I'm seeing. One, your parents don't like the fact that you guys are living together and are not married. Therefore, that was the stipulation of the money. Hey, if you want this, you guys have to give us a wedding date. You guys got to give us a plan. It was kind of like a little obligation between you and your partner that your parents made you want to do. I will say that's one thing. Or the money that they're giving you is for a wedding. You guys are going to get married. But why is there so much resentment here? I don't understand. Yeah, your parents did not approve of your relationship or how your relationship was going. They did not approve of it at all, Aries. I'm telling you that right now. De you definitely come from traditional parents or your partner has traditional parents and they weren't having it. I'm like, you're not going to be with my baby, live with my baby, and not be married to my baby. So, yeah. Definitely see some wedding here. Definitely see an engagement. This, this money was for a wedding. I'm telling you that right now. It's either for a wedding or for something, but yeah, that's what it was for. That was the string attached. That was the string attached with it. I do see you getting married to your partner. I have that in the outcome card, but I feel like you married your partner, not because you didn't love your partner. I do see love here, Aries, I do, but it was more like you were forced into doing it. You were coerced. One thing I know about Aries, you do not obligate them. You don't force them to do something because they can be very stubborn after R. They are ruled by Mars. They have bad tempers. They do when they feel like they're being pushed into a corner. So it's not that you didn't want to marry your partner. It's the fact that I didn't want to have to do it this way. I didn't want to have to feel forced to marry my partner. All right. Or vice versa, if it's the if it's your partner who's feeling this way. But yeah, I do see marriage and the outcome. You're gonna have to forgive your parents though, because it's not like you were sad. It's not like you're angry about it. I mean, you're angry for the fact that you felt like you you were forced to do it because love should be coming smoothly. It should be on your timing, not on your parents' timing. All right. But you do love your partner. I do see that. I do see you loving your partner. Yeah, here's the page of cups. You do love your partner. You do care about your partner. This is about enjoying life and enjoying the new romance and then enjoying the new romance of the marriage. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure why spirit partic 
pick that particular card because honestly to me this and th don't get mad at me but this seems like just you know standard parent children issues i know what where you're coming from aries don't get me wrong i know you feel that your parents forced you to do this sooner than you were ready to do so but you do love your partner your partner does love you but forgive your parents if i don't see any um bad intent from your parents but i do see that you know they did it because they love you and they did it because they care about you they didn't do it to be vindictive or trying to be controlling but they i think they felt that if they didn't do it this way now then you were probably never going to do it and i guess they want they had their own traditional values that they wanted to bestow upon you and make sure that you have that and i guess they wanted to make sure that if they had grandchildren it was going to be from a married mother and father that's what i'm seeing i'm just gonna be completely and utterly honest with you aries i'm sorry if this is not the reading you wanted but yeah this is definitely the reading I got. So if this resonated with you at all, Aries, please hit that like button. If it did not resonate with you, please check out your other placements and check out those readings. For example, if your moon is in Taurus, check out the Taurus reading, just for an example there. Now, again, I love you so much. Thank you so much for stopping by.